And when you actually pay them with the pay bill function, that's another kind of sorting tool in and of itself. So I can hit the plus button. We can go into the pay bills. Pay bills is in essence, another way, another kind of check form, expense form, check form, pay bill form, same kind of thing. They all decrease the checking account, but they have a specific term pay bill means the other side's going to decrease the accounts payable. So let's go into the pay bill. So we have the setup. It's going to come out of the checking account because it's going to basically make a check form. So we'll say that's good. This is going to happen as of 022823 again. And the starting check date uh, or amount will keep as that. So that looks uh, good because that should line up properly if we're doing checks. If we're not doing checks, I can delete that. Uh, if we're going to print the checks, then I can set the first check number. I can say print the checks and then I can print multiple checks at one time, feeding those checks into the printer and printing them at one time. So those are our options there. And then I can choose which of these I want to sort. Again, I can, I can filter. I have my filtering options up top. I can sort by payee. I can sort by uh, due date, which is clearly obviously one of the most common ways to sort. Sort by balance and decide which ones I want to pay. I'm going to choose that I'm going to pay these two. By the way, you could you could sort multiple items. I can hold down control or shift and pick all of them at one time. Or I can use this thing to pick all of them at one time. I'm going to pick just the bottom two down below and choose those to be pay to be paid. This is the open balance. This is the credit a credit applied, if any, if there were one and the payment. This is the payment that we're gonna make. If you wanted to pay something other than the total, then you can, there would still be an outstanding balance due on the bill in that case. What's this going to do? It's gonna create two transactions, two checks, or you could an equivalent of like an expense type of form if you didn't have a check number in essence up top. And, and so it's gonna make two of those checks with, and both of those are gonna be, so two transactions with two forms in essence, that are gonna be decreasing the accounts payable and the other side's gonna be uh, decreasing the checking account. All right, let's do it. We can cancel down here. We can save and close or we can save and print, save and schedule payment online. So I'm gonna save it and close it.